Thermal chemistry is the study of heat flow and energy changes in chemical reactions and physical processes. We can talk about heat flow and the direction heat flows from system to surroundings. Now, if heat enters the system, that tends to raise the internal energy of the system, and we call that a positive heat. We call it an endothermic process, endo, heat entering the system. Heat entering the system is positive and causes a positive enthalpy change. The enthalpy change is the state function associated with constant pressure energy changes. Heat is absorbed, that means endothermic processes, heat comes into the system. Now one classic endothermic process is the boiling of water, water going from liquid water to steam. That's an endothermic process, heat is absorbed. And here's where you have to be careful because your intuition may tell you, oh, when water's boiling on the stove, that's hot. It feels like heat is coming out. And that's true. There may be heat in the surroundings, but the system, the water going from liquid water to gaseous water, breaking those intermolecular interactions is an endothermic process. I have to absorb that heat, overcome intermolecular interactions, and become a gas. So we're going to have to be careful and check our intuition and carefully define our systems when we're talking about heat flow, endothermic processes, and the converse, exothermic processes. So a system can also lose heat. An exothermic process, heat can flow out of the system. Heat flowing out of the system, we're going to give a negative sign. Q is less than zero and the enthalpy change less than zero. Now, applying a sign to heat doesn't mean that heat comes as positive or negative. Heat is just a quantity of energy. The sign says which direction is that heat flowing. Is it flowing out of the system? That's negative. Or into the system? That's positive. It's just like speed. You could have speed in one direction or speed in another direction. And you could associate this with the positive direction and this with the negative direction. So positive or negative speed. Same kind of thing. Now, exothermic processes, heat flows out of the system or energy flowing out of the system, are often the more interesting processes to watch because the energy ends up in the surroundings. Energy coming out of the system into the surroundings is often more dramatic. There's often an explosion, for instance, involved. Now, let's talk about enthalpy, these energy changes, and energy changes between products and reactants. When we talk about a chemical reaction and the concurrent energy change, we set a standard state. So I'll measure the difference in enthalpy between products and reactants by measuring the enthalpy change at a very specific set of conditions. Those specific set of conditions are called the standard state, where everything that's in solution is at one molar concentration, all the products and reactants at one molar concentration, or if they're gases, their pressure is one atmosphere, and the temperature of the whole system is 25 degrees C. That's our standard state reference point for measuring enthalpies, and it'll allow us to change enthalpies and compare different chemical reactions. That is, it's not fair to compare one chemical reaction to another chemical reaction if the concentrations and pressures are different. So our standard state helps us compare chemical reactions and compare enthalpies across chemical reactions. Standard states, endothermic processes, Exothermic processes, that's thermochemistry.